Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have hit the midway point through the semester for my fellow students. Not going to lie, um, kind of exhausted, a little bit burnt out, but it's okay. We're pushing through. So I'm actually really excited for today's video. It's something I've been playing around with for the past month or so. And as you can probably tell by the title of the video, today's video is all about Notion. So this video is kindly sponsored by Notion. So I've actually gotten a lot of recommendations from friends, from you guys to try out Notion. Everyone always says that it would like fit my vibe. So I was really excited when Notion reached out to collaborate with me. It gave me the push I needed to actually set up my own workspace and give it a try. And I'm very glad that I did. So you might be wondering what exactly is Notion. Notion is an online platform where you can create an all-in-one workspace for pretty much every part of your life. You can make to-do lists, organize your classwork, make study schedules, budgeting, habit trackers, watch lists for shows and movies, reading lists for books, and so much more. It's great to use it by yourself or by collaborating with others because you can save time, increase productivity, and make it easy for everyone to find the information that they need. Notion is also very customizable, which I personally love so much. It's actually really easy to make it as pretty or as aesthetically pleasing as you want, and you can tailor the tools to fit your team or your own needs. So today I'll be walking you through my Notion workspace, what my impressions are with the platform, and how I like to use it. Like I said before, Notion is used a lot for making to-do lists, organizing tasks, daily goals, long-term goals. In terms of the daily to-do lists, I love my bullet journal. I don't think I can give it up that easily. I've been bullet journaling since middle school, so I like doing my to-do lists in there. But something that I always had trouble with was planning for long-term projects, keeping track of things like over the span of the semester, the school year, study schedules. I feel like I would always end up making a lot of random Google Docs and that was something that honestly was a little bit annoying. So the way that I like to use Notion is mainly for one, planning long-term projects and things I have to keep track of like my graduation requirements for college, if I'm maybe working on applications for something, making study schedules for tests. So I like to use Notion for that. And then habit tracking. I was always someone who hated those habit tracker I was always someone who hated those habit tracker bullet journaling spreads because I felt like they were such a pain to set up. But on Notion, I gave it a try and I've actually been keeping track of a lot of things that I didn't use to before, which is cool. So that's something that I actually do every single morning. But in terms of setting up my Notion workspace, I put a lot of effort into it. It was genuinely so fun. I was always the kind of girl who had really nice, pretty, like, Tumblr pages, I love Pinterest. Also, the sun keeps coming and going, so I'm really sorry about that. How's that look? It's a little bit better, right? I was like testing out all the little features because they have so many cool features that you can use to make it as functional as you need. I definitely had a lot of fun setting it up and that's why I'm very excited to show you my Notion right now. So here is my Notion. Oh my gosh, here it is. This is Christine's Corner. As you can see, this main page is organized to look like a cafe setup. You can also see I have some other pages. So I have my desk, university, lab, content creating, budgeting. This is just a random like archive slash private page. But Christine's Corner is the main page. It's kind of like the home base in a way. It's honestly just very very simple i have some pretty images to kind of spice up the space and i embedded a really nice tweet that i saw once these are my socials tip jars just like random to do's that i have to do like right away and then this menu goes to the other three main pages that i really circulate between my desk university and lab and then these are the other two pages budgeting and content creating that i just check in on every once in a while but i definitely spend most of my time at my desk so let's go there oh wait i also want to show you you can embed like sounds it's like <laughs> such a cute cafe theme okay enough of that let's go to my desk so here is my desk and this is like I said where I spend most of my time again you can see that the subtitles are named to go along with the theme of the page so because it's my desk which is where I've organized most of my general life related tasks and pages we have the main space shelves drawers um, and then like the trackers at the bottom we have a daily gratitude log it's just the gratitudes that I want to write down at the beginning of the day so that's before or at the end of the day so that's after then we can actually embed Spotify playlists which 
which is really great. This is a playlist I've been listening to a lot, Springtime. It's one of my own playlists from my Spotify. Random to-do list. This calendar is actually linked to my Google Calendar. If we want to talk about what I use to organize in general, it would be my bullet journal, Notion, and then my Google Calendar. That's like the main three things that I use these days. Summer planning, some pages under like the shelves category, so my general shopping list, my manifestations for the year. These are just some random lists of books I want to read, movies I want to watch, podcasts I want to listen to, shows I want to watch. This is supposed to be like for recipes. The main two things that I really am excited for on this period page are the summer planning and trackers so let's go to the summer planning first so this is just a really cool example of ways that you can use notion collaboratively i am planning on living in boston again this summer with one of my best friends annabelle she also goes to harvard and so we wanted to make sure that we had a place where we could like keep track of everything that we want to plan for the summer covid safe bucket lists our summer schedules because we'll both be taking classes this summer and then emergency contacts and then maybe anything else that we want to dump. We wanted one place for it. So she also uses Notion. I've shared this with her as you can tell. Up here you can see that we have collaborated on this page, but very excited to be using this a lot more this summer. So I have set that up and we've talked about it. We're very excited. Then going back to my desk for the trackers. These trackers are Honestly, the ones that I spend the most time on every day, I can give you a little walkthrough. I keep track of how much water I've drank uh, that day. Journaling, kind of logging, how often I journal, what days, what I journal about. Sometimes like reading back entries can be like a little emotionally exhausting. So if I want a very like straightforward layout, look at my notion. Walking, working out. I like to go on walks a lot these days, but then also I like to work out at home so I can keep track of that here. Screen time, I honestly don't use this. <laughs> I set it up in the hopes that I would control it more, but um, it's a uh it's scary. Then we have a food log. I like to use this a lot actually because it's nice to look back and see what I've eaten because sometimes I just forget. I forget very easily. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and dessert. And then we have my sleep tracker, which is picking how many hours I've slept, when to when, and then how I felt the next day, which I think is also important to keep track of. Figure out like what is the right time for me to sleep? Like when do I feel best when I wake up? So I'm hoping to make that a habit. But yeah, it's actually really nice because I go straight to my daily tracker when I'm eating breakfast in the morning, listening to my podcast like i'll just update it all so it's really really nice yeah i love my desk it's a really nice homey space with uh, pretty covers you know you can change the text font you can add cool widgets it's really really nice very easy to customize and i definitely had a lot of fun setting this up university let's head to uni <laughs> okay so we are at university this is essentially where i keep track of everything having to do with school my classes just to give you a little run through you can see that it's pretty simple honestly but i do make good use of some things first to show you i have another playlist this is one of my study playlists again general to-do list i organize it like campus map library mailbox dining hall so again you can see i like my themes we have my master to-do list which i updated with pretty much all of the big assignments I have to keep note of for the rest of the semester but it's nice because then I can kind of just keep track like see okay this is two days away and I have to do that so I'll check it off once I've done for my mailbox this is just journal to do's the archive is like a bunch of other random to do's that I have finished and I want to get out of the way in terms of these random to do's I mostly update it here if my bullet journal isn't really within reach and I just have to type something up really quickly as a reminder like respond to email from professor or something like that then we have some some random links that are useful for me. Canvas is where all my classes are. My.Harvard is like the student portal for Harvard students. And then we have graduation requirements, pre-med requirements, and classrooms. This is literally just, I set up pages for my classes. I haven't really used them, but I know a lot of people use it to like keep track of their syllabi. Um, they use it to keep track of to use for those classes. Then I have my graduation requirements. I use this a lot. On Notion, you can make a database, but you can look at the information stored on the database in different ways. So you can look at it as, for example, a table, a board, as a timeline, a calendar, a list, or a gallery. This right now is in the board view, which I really like because I can see that these are essentially all of the different requirements in terms of credits I need to graduate. I'm currently taking four classes that are necessary for me to graduate. And then once I'm done, I can click and drag it and then i can put it under the completed and when i'm registering for classes also i can see that i have to get started on 
the credits under the not cited category. So this is very nicely laid out. It's really easy to visualize and it's actually very helpful. It makes it really easy for me to plan out the rest of my academic schedule over these next two years and make sure I actually graduate. <laughs> under library, I created a page called study schedules. You can see that this is just like an example. I essentially create all the different tasks that I want to accomplish to help me prepare for an exam. For example, if I want to review lecture eight, I could say that like I'm in progress, I'm working on that right now. Once I'm done with it, I can drag it over to the completed column and I know I've done that. The not started, I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna start looking at the practice exam A. So I'll drag that to in progress. It'll just help me keep track of it. Once I'm done with it, I literally take the entire thing, drag it to the archive, and then I can see what my study schedule was like. Like for my neuroscience midterm, this is my chem midterm now. So you can see that it's really easy to store everything in one place. I'm sure you guys could also tell I have kind of like a Ghibli theme going on. Bright colors, very bright and warm and comforting is something that I really find to be very important. So that's why I found very healing images with really nice color schemes. So yeah, this is my university page. Let's head to the lab, guys. So the lab is really nice. It's a place for me to keep track of a bunch of random notes, lines of code that I need for my work. I am a research assistant in a neuroimaging lab where we do a lot of coding these days, like kind of Python and we use Jupyter Notebook. What I do is create these mini pages. Again, this is in that database. I think this is gallery view. I like it because I can click on any of these different pages. I think of them as like notebooks. And then if I have any pieces of code, for example, then I can store them here. I'll probably blur this out, but you can see that I can put in literal code. They have an option for that when you add text and such. If you ever want to add a new widget or text or anything, you just click anywhere on the page really it'll show you this little line and then when you press the backslash then it brings you all of these different options that you have so you can create a quote different headings to do lists like i've showed you different pages which i've been toggling around between you can mention people you can add emojis again the database is really useful you can add images which you've seen i've done i showed you how i added an audio file lines of code it's just really cool they have a lot of, a lot of options that i was pretty surprised about and you can customize it to have like I showed you pretty colors, different colored backgrounds, different colored text itself. You can make it different headers, sizes. If I wanted to, I could make this serif font instead so you can see how the font entirely changed. I like the mono. I like the way that that looks. It's just really cool because it almost feels like a mini website but it's just like a workspace for everything that I personally need. Then going on to content creating, this is where I kind of plan videos and keep track of the videos that I'm making. As you guys know, I do make a lot of vlogs, but sometimes I make videos like this for you guys. I started a Christine's Coffee Corner series. I can use this page to kind of plan for that. So future and progress completed, any partnerships that I have going on, planning videos. So I finished editing a vlog. That vlog went live today. I'm filming Notion today. It's really cool. Again, I can just have all of this laid out. And then budgeting, I haven't really used this one. I'm still figuring out how to use this page, but they have really good templates I've actually been taking a look at. But it's nice because you can organize it by spending or income, what kind of uh, transaction I'm logging. But it's really nice because then I can kind of sort it. So if I only want to look at the spending entries, then I can create a new view in the database and then add a filter to that view. So then I only see the spending ones. So if I only want to see the income, I'll see. you can see that I filtered it for that one view. So I am figuring out how I want to use this. I have it almost set up. I really like it. That's pretty much it for my Notion. There are so many cool features. I love how you can add audio files, images, GIFs. Uh, you can customize it with the colors. You can change the size of the columns. Like if I wanted to make this just a little bit smaller. There's just so much that you can do on Notion depending on what your personal needs are. Really, really excited to keep using it. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. If I've forgotten anything, I'll definitely add it later, but that is it for my Notion workspace. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you once again to Notion for kindly sponsoring this video. If you want to give it a try, then I'll actually be including a template of my own workspace down in the description bar below, along with the sign up link that you can click to sign up to start your own Notion workspace. I really do believe that it's worth giving a try. I find it to be very useful. I definitely think that you should check it out. But otherwise, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.